Simplify the following square root. You will have to rationalize the denominator here. So rationalizing the denominator means that we're going to get the square root out of the denominator. As we look at problem 42, what's in the denominator is the square root of 15. So we're going to multiply the bottom of the fraction by the square root of 15, as well as the top of the fraction by the square root of 15. And what we're doing is we're multi multiplying by the fancy form of 1. So we multiply the tops and we get 2 square root of 15. 15 times 15 is 225. And then we can take the square root of 225 to get 15. Same idea on problem 43. The denominator here has the square root of 2. So we're going to multiply by the square root of 2. We multiply the bottom by the square root of 2. We're going to multiply the top by the square root of 2. So then what happens is we end up with negative 3. 5 times 2 is 10. And down here, 2 times 2 is 4. And then we can take the square root of 4. On number 44 here, what I recommend is, first of all, breaking this fraction apart. And I might need some paper here. I'm not sure if I'll have enough space. But the square root of 36 is 6. So let's see here. That gives us 6. And then if I can squeeze it in over here, the square root of 27. And in fact, I'm going to write it up here. Square root of 27 is 9 times 3, which is 3 times 3 times 3. And what we need is 2 of the same value to take out 1. So we've got two threes. I don't know why I circled the second and the third one. It doesn't matter. Two threes. We're going to take out one. So the square root of 27 is 3 square root of 3. Don't have to do it, it that way. It gives you a smaller numbers to work with. Because we're going to get rid of the square root in the denominator by multiplying by that fancy form of 1. The square root in the denominator is the square root of 3. We don't have to worry about this 3 right here. We're allowed to have that there. But it's the square root that's the problem. So when we multiply those two together, we get 6 square root of 3 over 3 times the square root of 9. So this is 6 square root of 3 over 3 times 3. Square root of 9 is 3. So 6 square root of 3 over 9. And lastly here on problem 44, we need to simplify that fraction. And 3 goes into 6 twice. And goes in there twice. And 3 goes into 9 three times. So our answer to 44 here is 2 square root of 3 over 3. On... Uh, problem number 45, I'm going to grab a piece of notebook paper here to do this one, just because I'm running out of space here, but 45, the square root of 18 over 28, I'm going to approach it the same kind of way. Let's start by breaking this apart. Square root of 18, square root of 28. And if we look at this, we can simplify the square root of 18. So we're going to make our factor tree. It's 9 times 2, and then 3 times 3. So what happens is we need 2 of the same value to take out 1. So 18 is 3 square root of 2. We're done with the 3's. We can do the same thing with 28. 28 is 4 times 7, which is 2 times 2 times 7. When we're taking the square root, we're looking for 2 of the same value to take out 1. So we get 2 square root of 7. We're done with the 2's. So if we rewrite this problem, again, 18 is 3 square root of 2, square root of 18. Square root of 28 is 2 square root of 7. You do not have to do the problem this way. Again, it lets us work with a little bit easier, smaller numbers. 
we want to get rid of the square root in the, de in the denominator. So we're going to multiply by the square root of 7 here and the square root of 7 there, which is the fancy form of 1. So now what happens is we get 3 square root of 2 times square root of 7 and square root of 14. Down here we still have the 2. Square root of 7 times square root of 7 is square root of 49. And we can only do really maybe one more step or so. Square root of 49 is 7. So this is 2 times the square root of 49. So as we finish this problem, we get 3 square root of 14. 2 times 7 is 14. No more square root in the denominator.